Hi everybody, it's Lena here, and today I'm going to do a brown, kind of like inspired look. Um, I will be using only Stila. I will be using Stila products today. Let me show you. This is one. It has my eyeshadows in it. I'll be using my Stila. Kind of backwards, but whatever. And yeah, so I will be doing all Stila products today. Well, except for a couple. Like uh, my eyeliner is not Stila. So I managed to not find the Stila eyeliner. So, okay, let's continue. First, I already put on. I put a little Vaseline already on. So the only thing left I have to do is let's put the eyeshadow. The first color I'm going to use is this one right here. It's uh, very dark, so it's going to go on my lid. I usually like to use a light color on my lid, but they're only darker from here. And the this one right here is my going to be before my brow bow. So, okay, let me get my lid. I couldn't, my cousin still has to give me back my other mirror. Or I lost it, one of the two it was. So this is my little mirror here. Can you, just, can you see it? Okay, okay, anyways. So let's continue. First I'm gonna take my brush, my brush that I use every day, and take a little of that brown, I don't know if you can see, I don't think you can. Take a little of that, like, kind of like a deep brown. And just press it on your eye. Press, 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 that's all you wanna do. I'm going to quickly press it on the lid only. And I kind of want that deep, subtle look. As you can tell right now, it's really light compared to the other one. So I'm going to go a little heavier. Two coats should do. With the amount of heaviness I like. Because I really want the colors to stand out and pop. Go a little on the bottom. so far okay next I'm gonna put my crease on and my crease is going to be this one right here it's very kind of a kind of a darkish brown it's not that far away from the other one that I used but it's it's, it's deeper in tone so that's why I like to use it on the lid if you don't like the color, then you don't have to use it. Remember, these are all optionals. I'm just showing you the technique that I use when I do my eyes. So yeah, you can see, see the difference between the two colors. Well, you don't want that because that proves harsh line. That like shows harsh line. So all we're gonna do is just drag that bottom one in, and then just completely press it down. Take anything off that's not part. See, well, now it's more blended, which is what I want. And then, lastly, for the eye, is we put this really light, 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 kind of like a beigeish brown color. So it looks nothing like the other ones. Um, the black that you saw there, I won't be using because like I don't like to put liners on my eyes with just the brush. I actually use a liner pencil. So that's why I'm not going to be using that color today. too light for me so I'm going to darken it up a little bit because you can tell my other eye is really darker compared to the other one so I'm just going to darken it up a little bit like that. one more time okay Next, um, I'm going to put eyeliner on. I'm going to use my eyeliner that I use all the time. I'm going to show this one right here. I feel it works really, really well. I had to sharpen it today. 
because somebody I did like three four videos yesterday well I didn't put all of them up but um I put I did like three shows yesterday and I put only two up and I kind of like really ran out of my eyeliner so I had to sharpen it today so just go on your waterline that's all you want to do okay all you have to go especially with this one the eyeliner that I used, this one, you only have to go on two times. You only need to go on like a million times. Because it goes on really heavy when you do it the first two times. Okay. Okay. Next, I'm going to use my Stila mascara, which I use every show. Almost every show. Sometimes I use my Perfect Curve one. But that's only when I don't want like them to just pop up. But I want the browns to pop up this time. Um, I'm actually going to attempt to do three looks today. So my next one is going to be a black or a brown one. A uh, black or a blue one. So BBB today. I'm going to attempt to do that before 10 o'clock. Because my light, the lighting in my room gets really good at, it's really good right now at 8 o'clock. Better than what it usually is. Yeah, I really hope it stays this way. I'm gonna do three more shows. Attempt to three, two, three more shows. And I'm gonna take that brown again because it's not dark enough for me yet. Because like it's getting, it's not as dark as the, the not, it's not as dark as the other one is, or how I would like it to be. Okay, that's better, much better. What I do with this look, especially, is I swipe it away, swipe my eyelashes away, going that way. Just so that they don't get in my eyes. Because I hate when, I, when the mascara gets in my eyes. There you go. My brown inspired look. And that's only for the eyes. So let's get going on the lips. Now I'm actually not going to use my pink today. I'm actually going to use my brown only. Because it's going to go great with my eyes. So, And this is Wet n Wild. Again, not Stila. But I use most of my eye stuff for Stila. Because I really like the way that they show. The way, the way they come in that little kind of like a palette sort of thing. Which I like. So only in the bottom lip you want to put it sorry I always slouch so like I keep forgetting that you can't see me if I slouch so practice posture <laughs> As you can tell, it's a very deep color. And if you really want to line up, let me put the pink, but I don't want to line up right now. I just kind of want to make it look a little glossy. So I'm using my gloss. And a great trick I learned from somebody, Michelle Fan. She's a YouTuber as well. Um, she puts, she heats up water, a cup of water with, um, that she puts in the microwave for five minutes, and then she puts her lip glosses in there, and they extend, they um, sort of like expand. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I have a bit of a cold still. Okay, well you put a little bit of lip gloss on, but I suggest that you um, go on shelf and, and then. Check out the whole thing with um, expanding your lip gloss because it really works. I've tried it with one of my lip glosses and I didn't think it was going to work, but it did. So, anyways, back to the subject. This is my brown inspired look. And I hope you guys liked it.
bye.